Hey everybody, it's Cindy here with your M4 video, your Monday Message Mentorship Minute. And today I wanna to talk about reading the room. This video is gonna be about reading the Zoom room, and then I have another one coming up that's about reading the real room in person. So when we read a Zoom room, you might be wondering, is that even possible? And what am I supposed to be doing? And here's what we want to think through. To read the room means to have a pulse on your audience. You need, as a speaker, as someone leading meetings, as the person whose meeting it is, you need to be able to read the room and talk to your audience at the same time. You need to be able to read the room and be able to pivot if needed, if the room is falling flat and there's low energy. You need to be able to read the room to determine if questions might be coming at you and it's worth pausing. If you're seeing confused faces and you should back up or slow down. This is a huge skill that a lot of leaders ask me to help them with. So here are a few things that you can do to learn to read your virtual room a little bit better. Number one, keep an eye out for facial expressions. You need to know your material well enough in order to be able to do this. If you are reading a script in a notes section of a Google Slides document or a PowerPoint, you can't do that. So you really need to be able to know your message well enough and be comfortable enough that you can glance around the Brady Bunch squares to determine who has some wrinkled brows or concern on their looks on their faces. In light of that, the tip number two is to be sure you invite everyone to be on camera. That might actually come before the first, uh, the ability to do number one, right? Invite everyone to be on camera so that we can have as close to a face-to-face -face as possible. Just bring your own smile and your own energy and encourage people to come off camera unless they're driving. And then the third thing to do is to just watch for what people are doing and how they're sitting and how their, where their eyes are. If their eyes are on the screen, you'll know they're paying attention. If they're looking off to do other work or they're checking their phone or you kind of hear a sigh or you feel like they're bored, it's time for you to pause and get a question in there and say, it's time for us to take a quick pulse check. How is this landing with everybody? Can everyone drop me uh, your, you know, your favorite emoji in the chat? Let me know that this is, this is landing. Or who has a question? And then we stop and we really do wait. And you say something like, I'm gonna count to 10 in my head and if there's no questions, I'm gonna assume everybody's good and we'll keep moving. So obviously there's lots of different types of meetings that you run. Sometimes you're speaking for a long time and it's, and it's easier to read the room. Other times there's a lot of chatter and back and forth and it can be trickier. But I just want you to be aware of the fact that you need to have this skill locked in and continue to keep it front burner so that you can really be a savvy speaker with executive presence at a high level and someone who knows how to pivot when needed. So think about your ability to read the room and where you might dial that up a notch and how you could play around with that this week to at least audit yourself, see how things are going and what you might wanna bring into our session around reading the room. Have a great week. Talk to you in your session. Bye.